Hi, welcome to Duran's Designs. I'm Brian Duran. We have a new update for Vectric software, including Aspire, VCarb Pro, and VCarb Desktop. And this is version 11.5. And uh, there's quite a few new features in 11.5. And uh, I'm going to show you one today. And the one I'm going to show you is the freehand draw tool. Now this will be available on all three of these programs. So no matter which one you have, this should be an update for version 11.5. Okay, so let's get started by opening up a new file. We'll make it 12 by 12 by one. And we'll just keep all those settings the way they are. So now we'll go to the new freehand drawing tool. It's right here two little lines there and you have uh, you see you have your smoothness you have your stabilize and you can end the vector on a cursor so we'll just start somewhere on the document and to start drawing freehand by holding down the left mouse and if you hit the tab when you let go it'll connect up your vector as you let go, and now you have a closed vector. And I'll just show you a few other examples. Holding tab at the end. This one I didn't hold the tab, and you can see it doesn't connect. That's holding the tab. So this can be really a game changer for people who like to freehand draw. You can also adjust the smoothness and the stabilize sliders and that just changes the smoothness and uh, stability of the line now I'm just using the mouse to do these freehand drawings but if you had a graphic tablet that would uh, like a drawing tablet that would uh, really improve your usability of this feature so another tool you have here, if you zoom in and hit control while you're hovered over a line, you get a little cursor pops up and you can connect a line that wasn't connected before, extend the line. So if we just close that out, I can show you another example of uh, how this could be useful. You can open up a bitmap. We'll just use the one I have available here. And you can trace objects. If you want to freehand trace and then maybe edit the line afterwards, it's a good tool for that. If you have an, uh, a picture that's complicated or you want to get a precise detail, you can go in and freehand draw. This would probably be a little bit more user friendly using a drawing tablet, like I said, with a pen. But you can do it with a mouse too if you take your time. And you don't have to be too fancy either. You can just get the basic outline that you want. And then you can go in, use that feature with uh, holding the control and close that line out. And if you don't get it exactly the way you want, it's easy enough just to close out the line. You can try going to the close and that won't work. So what you can do is now go in and hit end on your keyboard and you can just connect up those lines using the green start node. And now you can see you can join it using the join vectors tool. Now you can go in, select your line again, hit end on your keyboard to go into node editing mode and you can adjust your line or detailed by moving the nodes around and inserting nodes or deleting them as you need to. And if you want to insert a node, you can either right click and hit insert a point and then you can adjust it or you can also do that by hitting 
I for insert on your keyboard when you're hovered over the part of the line that you want to add a note to. And if you get a curved line you don't want, you can convert that to line by hitting to line when you right click on your mouse. And here you just keep hitting the eye on your keyboard when you're pointed at the line that part of the line that you want to insert a point to. You can adjust the handlebars, keep adding points until you get the exact line that you want. There's quite a bit of customization there. It just gives you a nice starting point to uh, do a very detailed line drawing freehand. Now if you're very good at drawing, you can probably do a little better job than I did there. Well, that's the point of these programs is you don't have to be good at drawing to make nice vectors. Let the program do the work for you. Once you get used to it, you can get pretty quick at it. And you can see there you have a nice, pretty accurate vector of the drawing you just created. So that was just a very quick overview of the new freehand drawing feature in Vectric 11.501. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for new videos. I try to upload a new video every week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.